Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clockmaster. I am back from Thanksgiving break, Thanksgiving vacation. I'm back home, finally. And good thing I came back just in time. Vanity Fair released four covers, four different covers, featuring the Avengers Infinity War actors in their costumes, as we, as we will see them in the film. Now, before we get into this video, guys, please make sure if you are new here to please subscribe. Subscribe for more content just like this. Some more Infinity War coverage, reactions, discussions, things like that. Um, the trailer, which I'll, I'll be going into more discussion about it in this video, um, but the trailer is maybe dropping sooner than we think. So uh, you might as well subscribe for that because you don't want to miss my coverage of that trailer. So this, guys, there's been so much hype about in Avengers Infinity Infinity War. We barely got any information about a lot of the things. We got some pictures over the couple of months. We got some pictures at, at uh, Comic Con 2017. We got some teases of little hints and things, but we never actually saw the footage. I mean, of course, yes, there's the leaked footage out there on the internet right now. I have not seen it because I want the official thing to drop. Um, they released some footage at D23 Expo, which some people got to see, and they also released some for some people to see at Comic Con little teaser that was leaked um but we haven't gotten an official thing as yet man and the anticipation and the hype has been real for infinity war but when i woke up today and i saw these photos the hype even got even more real and even before that i read an article from batmannews.com or marvelnews.com i forget which one but basically they were saying that there's been hints maybe the russo brothers have been throwing some hints at maybe the trailer dropping really soon and they just released the number three and the number three was just showing up there and we don't know why um maybe it could have been three days it could be three weeks so maybe we may have the trailer dropping sometime this weekend maybe towards thursday or friday who knows um we'll, we'll know if tomorrow they release number two on their picture on their page then we'll probably know that they're hinting at the trailer maybe um but it's either then or we've been expecting it to drop around the Last Jedi release or sometime around December 4th. That's just been the, the number that's been thrown around. But um, that's just what we're getting. So I'm excited for this, man. But let's go ahead and look at these four covers. If you guys have not seen them, I'm going to break them down or just try to just get some just key points or just my main things that I'm seeing from them. And they are super dope. So we're going to start here with this first one here. Now, immediately, the first thing I see here, if I can zoom in, the first thing I see here, obviously is thor i mean i see thor in his new costume that we saw spoilers for thor ragnarok by the way um you should have seen it by now it's been out for a few weeks but we see him in this updated sleek looking cool chest plate the arm is instead of it being like a real silver it's like almost like a maybe i don't know what color it is, maybe like a blackish i don't know but it's dope but then i see milner at the top here so i'm like whoa okay um does Thor get back Milner somehow in this film? How does that work? I know in the Unworthy Thor route, there are many different Milners from different Earths, from, di from different Thors. So there are different hammers, and they look different. A lot of the fans, including me, wanted to see Thor with the ultimate Milner, which is kind of like the hammer axe kind of thing going on. I don't know if we'll see him with this hammer in this movie, but apparently he's holding Milner. Now, I don't know if he'll, if he'll have Milner, in the film, or they just have him holding it because he's Thor. I don't know what they're going to be doing with this thing. And another thing to notice, too, spoilers again for Thor Ragnarok is his eyes. So, which which leads me to believe that maybe he won't have Milner. But um, again, spoilers for Thor Ragnarok. He lost his eye in that film. But here he is with two eyes. I would, ex I, would I was expecting to maybe have the eye patch on because he, we saw him put the eye patch on. Um, it does say holiday 27 to 2018. So I don't know when they took these photographs. Um, I don't know if they're just doing it. Hey, man, they're just doing a photo shoot. But, and, you know, it won't be actually in the film. I don't know what the, what's going on with that. But I was, you know, expecting them to have the eye patch. So the eye patch is missing here. So we see him holding Milner, which was destroyed in Thor Ragnarok by Hela, and then we see him here without the eye patch. But other than that, the suit is looking dope. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Whatsoever, I love the color scheme. That's black on black on black on black with a little red cape hanging out from the back there. It looks amazing. So if you guys have any theories as to what's going on here with Thor, you guys let me know, man. I'm, I'm gonna have to wait for the trailer to drop before i can actually give my final or before we can actually see what's going on with thor but um he's missing an eye patch he doesn't have his he has his, he has both of his eyes 
and he has Milner. So it's a little bit weird. Um, then we have Robert Downey Jr. here as Iron Man. I mean, I, I mean to me, to be honest with you guys, all the Iron Man suits look relatively the same to me i know they're all different and they're all different versions but they i mean unless you put them side by side and i look like detail for detail they're pretty much all look the same for me um but there he is here we got falcon right here rocking the beard i don't know if there's any upgrades to his suit but he's looking dope as well i'm really glad to you know the outcome of his character and right down below black widow <laughs> we get her here with the blonde here i don't know where this came from what's going on with this obviously we'll get an explanation when the movie comes around when it comes time to the film but she looks great with blonde hair she looks more like her character that she played uh in lucy <laughs> she doesn't look like black widow to me she just looks like another character but you know it's, uh, it's you know scar joe will always be black widow to me so all right then we're moving on to this one now again confuses me slightly just a little bit um going with steve rogers man it's kind of confusing me a little bit with captain with cap here we've seen the posters and the promotion and the you know that they've been giving us and um he had a beard and his hair was slightly different. I mean, he's rocking what appears to be the Winter Soldier uh, costume that he had in Winter Soldier. That's exactly what this looks like to me. But it's a little bit weird. Just I don't know when they took this. And, you know, we see him with his shield back. So I don't know if this is this will be his look at some point in the film. Maybe he shaves his beard. Maybe when he had the beard, it was just something temporary and you know um he shaves it on later on maybe you know when he was going rogue he kind of had a beard and shaved it on later i don't know shaved it off later i don't know but he, he appears to be rocking this i mean the suit that he had in the other posters that we've seen from him so far has been different than this i don't know this looks he looks just like a shadow winter soldier so i don't know it's weird we got vision right here we got hawk and this is this is the confusion again because hawkeye obviously looks different um but hey man got a man got a fresh cut got the sides trimmed got a little looking like a lead you know he looks like he looks like a lead singer of some um christian australian rock band like that's what he looks like <laughs> it looks like a lead singer of a christian uh, a christian australian worship team that's what he looks like right there some rock band that's what he looks like right there like like place with some country rock band i don't know <laughs> but it's looking dope man we got war machine here with his suit on so he obviously we know he may be in this film got evangeline lily looking great um and i have a little gripe with her suit um i, I kind of have a little gripe with her suit man um because i you know if you saw ant-man obviously the ending she had a slightly different color scheme of the suit it was the yellow and black suit and i wonder why they kind of ditched that i mean maybe i don't know if they explained it and i kind of missed it somewhere but she you know they have the suit there and i'm like eh, i don't really know um if i'm feeling this I don't know if I'm really feeling this, but she looks great. She looks great. But I don't know what's going on with Cap, man. I need to know what's going on with Cap. I need to know what's going on with him. Why is he dressed like this? I don't know. We'll, we'll find that out. But he has a shield here. Then the third cover here, we got Mark Ruffalo as Hulk with the green hands. This is a really cool concept right here. I, lo I love this. We got my boy Chadwick Boseman here as Black Panther rocking the new black panther suit if i can just zoom in a little bit more to get some of that detail on that suit he's rocking the new black panther suit that we saw him the nanotech suit that we saw him rocking in the black panther trailers i'm super hyped through this film so obviously it'll be continuing from where we left off in uh, black panther but he's looking dope man the hair the beard everything about chadwick Bosman, man they did a great job making him look like the king he is in black panther um, we got Scarlet Witch here. I'm liking her hair as well. Her hair, the color looks pretty cool. I'm loving this. We're going to see her return here. I don't know if we're ever going to see um, Quicksilver again. It'll be pretty cool. I don't know if I'll ever see him again, man. And then we got here Ant-Man. We got him here rocking the suit. I mean, I know it's a little bit different from the suit he was rocking. In, and it's very similar, of course, to Wasp. So um, it's a little bit different from what he we saw him in, in Civil War. It's a different suit. I like it. It works. All right. I mean, it works for me, but um, I don't know, man. For me, the one who stands out on this page right now, obviously, 
is Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther, man. This guy is perfect for the role. He looks just like a king. Look at that stare. He looks just like a king just looking at you, man. So I'm, I'm impressed with this cover, man. I'm super excited for Infinity War. And we got the last Vanity Fear cover here. We got Tom Holland swinging on the top. Um, it, swinging on the top here in the Spider-Man Homecoming suit. I think he'll get, he'll go to the upgraded suit later on. I'm not entirely sure, but we're seeing him swinging at the top there. We got Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange hanging and chilling in the corner there, man. Looking dope. We saw him in Thor Ragnarok, so I'm excited just to see more Doctor Strange, what's going to go on with his Infinity Stone. We got Mr. Star-Lord in the middle here. I don't know if this is a new costume or a new outfit, but it looks okay. It looks cool. I mean, he just looks like Star-Lord. I mean, here, hey, we got Gwyneth Paltrow here as Pepper, so that's dope. Um, I'm glad to, by the way, I'm glad to see her return back, man. I'm glad to see her back again on the screen. Um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed her character and then she showed up in Spider-Man Homecoming. I was super excited for that. So, but this cover looks dope. I want to get all of these, man. Just, just give me, I don't want all these words on it. Just remove all these words. I just want the cover. All right, guys. And just, these are some, some other photo shoots that they released, um, through their thing. I didn't read the entire article, but then again, here we see Cap with what appears to be the Winter Soldier suit. I don't know what's going on here. I need an explanation for this. I really do need an explanation for this. I don't know what's going on here, but you see Tom in the back, Nick Fury. Now, I don't know if he's actually going to be in this film, but if he's in this film, it's going to be great to see him return again. He's a huge fan favorite. I love Samuel L. as the role. And then we have one of the Dora Milaje back here. Again, here we see Thor with his new suit that, he's that he got at the end of Thor Ragnarok. Again, holding Milner. I need an explanation for that as well. I need an explanation for the eye patch as well. I mean, I see, I don't know, man. I need an explanation for this. That's what I know. We see here, then we see here Shuri in the back here, rocking her little, you know, Black Panther blasters. I'm going to be so, oh, well, I'm not going to be. I am excited to see her in this film and what she's going to be, uh, what she's going to be doing. And then you just got Nebula just leaning on her shoulder, which is just so cool. Just to see all of these characters in, in the same pictures. It's just so cool, dude. Got John Favreau in the corner here. Um, directed and appeared in well he directed and appeared in, in some of the Iron Man films and some a lot of these other films as well but I love John Favreau War Machine the back Groot Drax Vision I know Vision's gonna die he's gonna die Vision he's gonna die without a doubt and then we got Hank Pym hanging out in the corner there so I'm excited to see if he's actually gonna be in this film that'd be pretty dope again a, such a dope photo here Doctor Strange Perfect casting. Loved Benedict Cumberbatch in the film. I cannot wait to see more Doctor Strange. Honestly, I really can't wait for him to see more of what he's going to be doing in this film. We got Falcon in the back there. Angela Bassett looking great as the Queen Mother. We got Scarlet Witch here. And then we got Hawkeye. <laughs> Yeah, I got with that haircut, man. Seriously, looking at that Australian Christian rock, Christian rock band uh, worship leader team, uh, team leader <laughs> right there. But you're looking cool, man. You're looking fresh. A dope photograph. A dope photograph. A dope photograph. Yeah, we got this. Um, I forgot her name, but I know she's in Shield. Um, of course, Scarlett Johansson here, looking dope, looking fresh. Gamora just chilling. This is such a bad photo, as in good. Like, this is just awesome, man. Valkyrie in the back with her rocking her suit, too. It's telling y'all, man. The hype. Mantis peeping in from the front. Black Panther in the back. Gwen Paltrow in the back as Pepper. We got more Hulk, more Mark Ruffalo with the Hulk action going on here. Look what they, I like what they did with the suit. That's pretty cool. That's actually a really nice choice for uh for um for the costume for this, this for this picture that's dope this one is also really cool too we got bucky right here rocking the sort of like a little buzz on his beard going on here i wonder if they re you know they fixed his arm and it's all vibranium now that's what i want to know if that's what they did with that because we know we last saw him at the end of civil war in uh wakanda so it'd be pretty cool i, I don't know why if they give him a new arm if they would keep this red star but then again it's a signature when the soldier looks so you know you got to keep it on there we got a wasp flying at the top there still not too fancying the design for her suit but I'll, I'll i'll deal with it i'm okay with it we got wong another fan favorite of mine i love him in the back there we got this is and this is actually one of the coolest things too kevin feige we got rdj and then we have Rocket Raccoon and Stan Lee just chilling in the corner. This is, this is an awesome photograph right here. This is really cool, really iconic. This is just awesome. This is a really cool thing just to look at. Like, this is, ah, oh, good.
And I think that's the last of the photographs, guys. So you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about all these photos and everything like that. All these, uh, what's going on with Thor and what's going on with Cap. I mean, they look a little bit different than how we've been seeing them so far. But I don't know if that's just just for the sake of this magazine. And in the movie, they'll be look they'll be looking differently, obviously. So I don't know if it's that. Hopefully, it's that. But let me know in the comment section, man. I'm excited for Infinity War. Hopefully, the trailer drops this week. If it doesn't, I'm still hyped as well. December, it, this is going to drop soon. It will be dropping soon, and we will get the trailer. I'm excited for it can't wait anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video man I'm, i want to do a more in-depth discussion sometime i don't know if i'll get a time to do it because i'm going to be releasing like four four videos for the crisis on earth x crossover so there's going to be a lot of editing to do and my work week has begun um for editing videos so it's it's going to be a crazy week for videos man but um i got so much other reactions and other things to upload so just expect a whole ton of videos this week i'm excited to get to work um, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Subscribe it if you're new. Clockmaster, out.